power steel pool here um, with the stock items that come with it uh, for the filter setup. What we're going to do is install the Hayward skimmer at the end of the pool. If we install it right here, which I'm sure many people have, but it's going to be at an angle. See that angle? It's hard, kind of hard to tell, but it angles out at the bottom there. So there's a bulge, and then up here, it's just it's not a nice 90 degree perpendicular area anyway. So what we're going to try to do is install it where we are going to install it at the end here, where it's a little bit flatter from top to bottom. I haven't seen a video of it, anyone doing this, so wish us luck. At the moment, the pool is being drained via... It's the first time we're draining the pool, so we're just using a hose and picking up some dirt while we're at it. So, okay, we're gonna trace the hole. Put a little tape there so we don't have black ink all over. Our... Opening. You could go a tiny bit higher. A shadow here which makes it kind of kind of nice to line it up we're trying to get it lined up right yeah it's like right at, at that the seam seam so we're not messing with it i'm done all right so we got our hole and we won't have black goop all over this Oh my God. I feel like I can't breathe. changed my mind. <laughs> to do my screwdriver see because it doesn't because now these are in the way or, you know the frames in the way mm -hmm. so maybe I'll just have to push harder give me a screw or I could do it from the back side I don't know why I didn't think of that
apparently this makes all the difference in the world. Making the hole a little bit bigger. screws in, slappers in there. Does it, does it say anything? So you wanna tighten these, one on the top, one on the bottom, one on the side, and just kinda rotate around until they're all tight. Set this down, water will just come gushing out of the pool. Now it won't, right here. So I unplug this. We need to know if this works with our skimmer. That's what we're gonna do. Pump. Now I'm gonna sit this way. gasket will go in here and we can do a little Teflon tape. That looks golden. Looks like it'll work. See that? That's gonna be good. Feels nice and snug. That's not gonna go anywhere. be fine it's a drain they don't have a lot of pressure this is from your handy dandy adapter kit a nice little washer there you go I think that'll be good. We can always tighten it if there's a leak. So your water's gonna go like that. We'll put an O-ring in there. So we took this off, and we're gonna try to put the adapter instead to connect it to the valve that came with the pool. But this is an adapter kit, and this is what came with the Hayward skimmer. This is the eyeball. Like before. Okay, so now, this is when we would do this. Some tape, right? And then a little O-ring, get the O-ring. See, that'll go first. We gotta make sure we put the tape on the right direction. Put some Teflon tape. Actually, I didn't mind putting the ring on after the fact. So it goes on the same direction that you actually twist it. Yeah, you want the tail of it to go to say put down instead of being unraveled as you're twisting this.
this already has a doodle, so I'm not gonna use this. It already has one. I think we got a pool. Let's fill it up. Right? Mm-hmm. Here's all our extra parts. We didn't have to customize anything because you got the, the ideal conversion kit. Cool. That made life easy. We didn't have to go running around. So we are installed. Now it's time to fill the pool back up and see if it works. So what we did is we essentially plugged up these temporarily just using gravity. We just wanna make sure that that is above your water line right there. Otherwise you're gonna lose water. But right now they're just connected to each other. So we'll worry about that later, get some sort of plugs for those two ports, holes. Um, so what we did is we moved the pump from over there to over here, skimmers over there. We flipped it essentially from what it was before. That filter was the other direction. We'll see how our idea works. If all goes well, that eyeball that's on the other side of that the, um, outlet is going to direct water down the pool. And then the skimmer here is going to pull the water in using the pump that comes with the pool. Um, so hopefully that'll create a good current for the skimmer to work for little guys like that. Yum. Um, and to keep our little chlorinator moving if we want to keep using the floaty what kind. We might just put the chlorine tablets right in the skimmer. I've seen some people do that. So we're going to fill her up. I'll let you know how it goes. Well, this is just going to fall down and drain water. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, we got the plug in there. The black plug that came with the best way pool. It came with a couple of plugs. And, and that's gonna, really just... We're keeping this pipe here just for safety. Just to isolate this from... We could have just left it the way it was, but... At first, we just had it without this piping. Put the clamp here but I like the idea of having the piping just in case the clamp doesn't hold it perfectly. Because we know the clamp worked with the hose. So we'll clamp that, and this won't have any water in it, but until we have a better plug system, this will be great. However, the clamp was working when we had that hard metal, not mm. like a hard plastic tube in there. Mm. So everything's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we got the Hayward skimmer installed. I'll talk about the parts a little bit. So this guy is for vacuuming. It's an accessory that you can attach your vacuum hose. I think it's one and a quarter and one and a half. Either size will work for your vacuum hose. So you just put this guy in here. I don't have a hose on me, but basically the hose, you just you connect it from inside the pool, pull it through and connect it there. And that'll be a separate video. So when you're not vacuuming, which is most of the time, <laughs> you have your basket that picks up all the debris that this skimmer will eventually be trapping. Um, skimmer comes with the lid. Voila! You word skimmer. So, there's that flapper doodle. So this is how we set it up. Instead of putting the skimmer over there, we put it all the way over there. We wanted to maximize our pool depth. That side is our shallower side, so we figured that would be good for the skimmer to be on that side since it needs at least an inch or more of air um, at the top of the intake. It cannot be completely submerged or it won't work. Okay, we're about ready to try the skimmer. We bled the air out of there. Just untwist that. Before you want to try the skimmer, you want to make sure the air is out of your pump and hoses. You don't want air going through your pump. Okay, skimmer's on. And it is skimming. Oh, there's bugs going in. All kinds of yummy stuff. We got a leak here. That sucks. We got a leak going on from our this joint. See that? A leak coming from my eyeball. So maybe we should um, figure out how to tighten that up. That wasn't leaking. That this wasn't would be cooler. Plan. Because the water is already flowing in pretty nicely. Okay, so when we started the skimmer for the first time, we had a leak in the adapter o-ring part right there. So what we did was took these pliers and just tightened this area here and that, that did the trick. Yeah, this got squished, the black o-ring in there got nice and tight. So we're good, no more leak. So I think the Hayward the Hayward Skimmer. It's pretty cool so far. Um, using the regular pump that came with the Best Way Pool. And I guess another bug joined the party. Yay. A lot of these little guys will actually end up in the filter, but it's getting it out of the pool, so that's great. Nice. He's getting sucked in. He's getting sucked in. Oh yeah, he's gonna get sucked in. It's gonna be so satisfying. He's going. He's gonna curve. He's gonna curve. Come on. Come on. Oh, so close. So close. Okay, we're watching this bug now. New bug. New bug.
Oh, I think it's gone Actually, now. this bug's definitely going to make it. It's coming back. It's going in. Oh, oh, you missed it. We got that big one. Look at this one. He's coming in for a crash landing. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, look at him go. He's going in hard. He's going in hot. See that? That worked pretty good. This is the best part of the video. It's like playing poo sticks. Poo sticks. God, look at all that stuff that's in already. You're going to have to maintain this sucker like all the time. That's only five minutes of running. Look at all those bugs. Very nice. Now we won't be eating them. Very nice. Very nice. Beauty.